Okay, so we're going to go ahead and solve this problem. 3 fifths divided by 6 sevenths. And I am going to keep change reciprocal when I am dividing fractions. We don't actually divide. We want to keep change reciprocal. So I'm going to keep my 3 fifths, change my division sign to multiplication, and reciprocal, which just means flip, my 6 sevenths. So instead of 6 sevenths, it's going to be 7 sixths. Now, I'm going to, before I start multiplying, I'm going to go ahead and cross-simplify with this. So remember, you kind of follow the lines of your multiplication symbol. So for these two numbers, 3 and 6, I just look to see if they have anything in common. So I'm going to do 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. Then I go the other direction, 5 and 7, and I don't see anything in common except 1, so I am done cross-simplifying. Once I've cross-simplified, which that just makes it a lot easier for me to multiply, now I'm going to multiply straight across the top, so multiply my numerators, 1 times 7 is 7, and my denominators, 5 times 2 is 10, and I get my final answer of 7 tenths. So now we're going to go to a new problem, and I actually want you to pause the video here, and try it yourself in your math notebook. And when you're done, come back and I will walk through it with you as well and you can check your answer. Okay, so hopefully you have gone ahead and solved this one. Um, so let me walk through it with you as well. Remember for dividing fractions, we're gonna keep change reciprocal. So I'm gonna keep my four sevenths change my division sign to multiplication and reciprocal, so flip my two-thirds so it says three halves instead. Now I'm going to look to see if there's anything I can cross-simplify. So four and two, they are both even, so I'm going to divide them by two. Four divided by two gives me two. Two divided by two gives me one. I'm going to check the other direction, three and seven. Again, I don't see anything in common with these two, so I am done cross-simplifying. Now I multiply straight across the top, so 2 times 3 equals 6, and across the bottom, 7 times 1 equals 7, and my answer is 6 sevenths. All right, so now that we're done solving that problem, I want you to go back to the chart and see which problem you are solving in your video.